Hey guys, my name is Michael Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this double-sided Georgie and Pennywise cake. The thing that I love about this cake is that the cute side is extremely adorable and the scary side is creepy, especially because of all of that rotting flesh cheeky thing that we got going on. So let's get started. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that like button as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos come up on this channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays and maybe Saturdays. Starting in 221 <laughs> or whenever I have time. Now to create this cake, I am using my PVC pipe system. There are links in the description box so that you can create the system for yourself. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that the cake that I'm starting with isn't on the cake board. I actually use support to lift it up a bit so that I can place some fondant feet underneath it later. Next, you're probably gonna notice that I'm not using Funfetti cake because it was my mom's birthday. She wanted a chocolate cake and I decided to go with a marble cake because I like vanilla and I knew I was gonna eat it. And I know it was her day, but I tried to make it my day as well, I guess. <laughs> That's terrible, but it's true. <laughs> hey, she's not the only one eating this cake. I had so much leftover batter that I used the batter to create two YouTube videos. So there's a second marble cake coming your way. The body is created using a four inch round cake and then a three inch half dome cake. And I just carved that into a cone. Now, I love making these cakes and I made this one extremely simple, again, just by using two half dome cakes to create the top. No carving, nothing. I already did carving on the body, I'm not doing more carving on the head. Voila, push it on top and it's good to go. What do you like better? Do you like marble cake or do you like funfetti cake? I'm kind of curious about that. I mean, how much funfetti cake can you actually eat, to be honest? Now I was going to create his legs and his feet with cake as well, but they're really thin so I'm just using gray and green fondant to create his legs as well as his waterproof shoes. I like the way the shoes look with the yellow jacket, it's so stylish isn't it? I'm paneling two pieces of very bright yellow fondant to create the jacket. And the creepy jacket has so much more fondant on it. <laughs> you can notice I added details to the shoes and then I'm using this fondant tool. I don't know what it is. It makes it look like they're stitching on the fabric so I added that as well as buttons. For the kawaii side, I didn't do any of that. I just left it plain and yellow. I thought that was cuter that way. And I love the contrast, because one side's more complex and the other side's extremely simple. Then I covered the kawaii side with a really nice piece of skin tone fondant. Look at it, you guys. Blemish free. His skin is so smooth. Nothing, oh my gosh. Is that clear cell? Is that Neutrogena? Probably. But also he's a little boy so he doesn't have pimples in. Some teenagers would kill for that skin. And then on the opposite side we have this extremely disgusting <laughs> looking piece of fondant going onto his head. Then I created my kawaii face which is extremely simple. So I'm using a D to create his mouth and two circles of black fondant to create his eyes. The detail is simple, but the placement on these has to be just right or else it won't be as cute. The hair on the Kawaii side, I think is my favorite. It makes him look extra cute. It's not extremely put together. Look at that. And he's just got these really nice bangs. Oh. I wanted to add just a little bit more detail, so I'm using a little bit of brown food coloring to highlight his eyes. It makes all the difference, you guys. Then I spun it around, and I started to create the decayed, creepy side of Georgie.
I wasn't sure, is this Georgie? It's Pennywise, right? It's Pennywise pretending to be Georgie. Now my favorite part about the creepy side is this like decayed flesh on the cheeks of Georgie. Creating all these crevices, it's the same kind of crevice you would create if you were like making a moon cake. There's just holes and holes and holes all over his cheeks to make it look like it's rotting, rotting flesh. And his eyes, I sloped them down a little bit. I probably wouldn't have done it this way again, just because it makes him look sad and not angry. And I think that he should have been extremely angry. But I also thought that he should look sad because he's been rotting in the water. Now I'm adding his arms. The left arm is just hanging down and the right arm, I'm having it just rest on his belly so that when I add a secondary arm to the creepy side, his belly hides his arm. Then I started to create the inside of Georgie's mouth. Now I wasn't sure if I was gonna give him teeth. I ended up giving him teeth later on, but initially I just wanted him to have gums. After that, it was time to start painting my cake. There were a lot of crevices on Georgie's face, on the creepy side of Georgie's face. So I just used some diluted black food coloring with some magic sauce just to make sure that I got all of the black food coloring into the crevices and I just wiped the rest away using a clean towel and some magic sauce. Look at that, see? It stayed in all the crevices, which is what I wanted, and it just looks, oh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? So gruesome. It needed a touch of highlighter, so I'm using some diluted red food coloring as well as yellow to get that the decayed fleshy look. Don't forget those bomb eyebrows. Now I tried to mimic the same sort of hairstyle except make it look ugly. <laughs> it's been sitting in the water too long, it doesn't look pretty. Then I added the raincoat hood. This like really completes the kawaii version. Look how cute. Oh my god, he's ready for the storm. And then he dies, look at that. <laughs> and then I added the hood to create the disgusting Pennywise look. Now I'm adding a few touches, like a tiny boat as well as some blood because his arm gets chopped off. We all know that, we've seen the movie. And if you haven't, then I spoiled it for you. And you had so much time, you should have seen it already. And voila, my creepy and cute Georgie was complete. You like it? Oh, I love it, man. Now initially I was just going to keep it like this, but then I realized that the creepy Disgusting Georgie isn't Georgie, it's Pennywise's impression of Georgie. So I went back later that day and decided to repaint the cake. Not completely, but I thought it would be really cool to add Pennywise's signature clown makeup on. So I'm using a little bit of Maybelline lipstick. Oh, look at that. Looking so beautiful. I created his mouth, the stripes on his eyes, and that. Uh, Beautiful red nose. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and it looks terrifying. This is the worst and the best. <laughs> it's so dramatically <laughs> scary now. Oh god, it is scary as heck. 
Which one do you like? Do you think I should have just kept it with like the, the decayed flesh or do you like the scary Pennywise version behind Georgie? I don't know. I like the Pennywise version. It looks really scary. Oh my god, why would anyone eat this? I don't know. <laughs> but it's marble cake, so I could see why they'd want to. If you want to see more IT content, there are a few videos on my channel to satisfy your craving. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!